Hello everyone, it's Al from South Americans. So today I wanted to bring you a quick tutorial on how to clean your test tubes. This is especially important if they get moldy, if your queen dies of parasites, or if you are a previous colony in them. Since under these conditions the environment in the test tube is no longer sanitary for another queen, ant or colony to live in. Ok, let's get to it. South Americans. So the first thing that we have to do is to remove the current cotton from the test tube. This can be very difficult because the water and the cotton will make it act kind of like a suction cup, which will, uh, yep, it can pose some trouble, you can see me struggling for it here, but I find that these tweezers can be effective in this. On a side note, this test tube has been abandoned for so long that the smell that the water left because you know there was some dirt inside it, so the smell that it left, the entire house was smelling like a sewer system. For real though. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward me struggling through removing the cotton from it. So this is something that you will normally not have to do, but I accidentally pushed the cotton instead of pulling it, so now it's at the bottom of the test tube, and yep, yeah, now it's incredibly harder to even take it away from the test tube. But I decided to post the clip anyways. And then we just take the different test tubes and we put them in water and then we cook that water, we boil it, I usually leave them there until the water starts to, you know, pop bubbles and boil and everything and then we just remove them from there, you let them rest and they should be disinfectant and ready to use, then you can just set them up again and put the cotton in it and everything. So if you enjoyed this video definitely let me know in the comment section, if you didn't like it then, you know, let me know as well. Um, Yep, enjoy!